what's up guys <laughs> so as you can see I've been uploading a lot of videos today mainly because I've been watching a lot of movies lately and I have nothing else to do and I really like doing these reviews so uh, I'm just kind of reviewing movie after movie basically but um this movie was suggested by Brett Banks and um Yes, so I rented this at my local Redbox, and um, I've heard of it. I've actually kind of been wanting to see it. This movie is 616 Paranormal Incident. You can see the Redbox right here. There's the disc art. Um, yeah, 616 Paranormal Incident. So basically, this it's, 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 it's a found footage movie, okay? It's a found footage movie, but... It's about this investigation team who go to this, ah, uh, what's the building? It's like a hospital or an asylum, I forget. They're in a building, they're investigating crap, you know, whatever. And, uh, like, they have this one chick captive. They think something's wrong with her, so they, like, put her in this jail cell. And, uh, yeah, she's actually possessed by the devil, apparently, so the devil... Um, yeah, so, you know, stuff starts going down, invested, people start disappearing, you know, same old, same old found footage, horror movie nonsense. There were some kind of creepy parts in here, a lot of sexual content, uh, uh, there's nothing else I can really say about this movie, uh, yeah, chicks possessed by a devil, I guess. That's what the hypnosis said on IMDb, but, uh, yeah. There was actually this really kind of creepy part where there's this guy chasing after another guy, like, in a wheelchair. His, like, eyes were, like, all white. By the way, all the, like, ghosts and your demons in here, their, like, eyes are white. That's how you can tell they're possessed. But, yeah, this guy in a wheelchair, he kept, like, chasing this other guy, making this really loud screeching noise. And, uh, you know, the guy's looking back, and the guy's on the wheelchair, it's just, it's really creepy. But I didn't know whether to, like, to be terrified or to laugh, because it's, it was just, I don't know, that was, that was a good part. But other than that, this movie really doesn't deliver anything new, nothing special, uh, just your average, crappy, low-budget, found-footage horror movie. Uh, the ending was, I actually liked towards the ending. You'll see what I mean, I don't want to spoil it for you, but then again, you probably won't see this movie anyway, so... There's actually a part where she walks into a room, and then there's, like, all this blood on the walls, and there's this little boy, he, like, goes up to the camera, and then the movie sort of just ends right there, um... Really bad special effects, though, the special effects are horrible on here. You'll see what I mean by that, but, yeah. So the movie's kind of, like, half found footage and half... Uh, theatrical because in the opening sequence it starts off as a normal movie but this chick watches this one videotape of a guy so then that's how the found footage effect begins and then like towards the end you know the video just stops something happens it just stops and then you know it goes back to being a theatrical film where it lives off to what happened in the opening sequence and it you know so it's kind of different in a way um but overall, it's not very good. It's okay, mediocre, it's nothing special. But you know what, I've actually, this is um, a, just a tiny bit better than most found footage movies I've been seeing recently. Um, not like, not as good as Crow's Nest, but better than Greystone Park. So, yeah. Overall, I would probably give 616 Paranormal Incident a 2 out of 5 star rating. It's mediocre, it's okay, but it's, it's leaning towards more, like, not good. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So, basically, it's called 616 Paranormal Incident. Apparently, it's a sequel. Uh, the It's called uh, Paranormal Incident 2 in UK, so it's a sequel, apparently, to a movie called Paranormal Incident. Um, I did look this up, and it is an actual movie, so... Uh, it was made in 2011, a movie called Paranormal Incidents, so I kind of want to check that out, too, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for 616 Paranormal Incident. Uh, 
Apparently it's a sequel. I don't know. I've never heard of it, but yeah. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. Please leave a comment down below on what movie I should review next, and I will see you guys later.